look at this picture uh, violet 298 kelvin violet circle product at 298 kelvin brown circle and air at 298 kelvin uh, blue circle so in the right corner there are a graph where you can see in the x-axis there are t naught and t and y-axis there are u or a so the you can see the green line which is reactants and the red one which is products so heating value at constant pressure we can write q is v p is equal to minus del s p t o and heating value at constant volume q is v v is equal to minus del u v t o so r u is equal universal gas constant it means 8.314 kilojoule per kilo mole per kelvin another graph is there in x axis we can define t naught and t and y axis we can define h here you can see two green lines which is for reactants and two red lines which is for products so the higher or gross heating value where water in in liquid form lower or net heating value where water in gaseous form and m is 2 divided by mf is equal to mass ratio of water produced to fuel burned and there is the equation in the box another example is there methane air combustion so look at this methane plus as in oxygen plus 3.72 nitrogen in the product sites there are n1 carbon dioxide plus n2 water plus n3 nitrogen here given data as is equal to 2.0 n1 is equal to 1.0 n2 is equal to 2.0 and 3 is equal to 7.52 so from this we can write low heating value is equal to 100 point 100 2 into 3 3 divided by 16 megajoule per kilogram that means 15.14 megajoule per kilogram and higher heating value is equal to 55.64 megajoule per kilogram adiabatic flame temperature here the green line is for reactants and the red line is for products adiabatic flame temperature is the product temperature in an ideal adiabatic combustion process actual peak temperatures in engines are several hundred degrees less due to heat loss from the flame combustion efficiency is less than 100 percent a small fraction of fuel does not get burned and some products components dissociate endothermic reaction at high temperatures typical equilibrium combustion products there are three different pictures where you can see the y-axis for mole fraction and x-axis for equivalence ratio and this is for isoctane at 30 bar there are so many different colors line these are used for indicating different thing this is for c3 acid propane where pressure is one atmosphere and temperature is 298 kelvin equivalence ratio 1.05 tmax 2278 y-axis we define the mole fraction in percentages and x-axis we define the equivalence ratio in five so there are some different lines for hydrogen oxygen carbon monoxide carbon dioxide water etc major products of lean combustion are water carbon dioxide and oxygen and nitrogen also while for rich combustion these are water carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrogen and nitrogen so water carbon dioxide and nitrogen is similar of both of them where in lean combustion the major products is oxygen and for rich combustion the major products is carbon monoxide and hydrogen this is the difference so maximum flame temperature is at slightly rich condition phi is equal to 1.05 almost as a result of both the heat combustion del c and heat capacity of products decaying beyond phi is equal to 1.0 so between 1.0 less than equal phi less than equal phi for t max Heat capacity decays more rapidly with phi than del C, and beyond phi of T max, del C fail falls more rapidly than does the heat capacity. So, increase in temperature promotes dissociation for endothermic reactions, and increase in pressure decreases dissociation.